Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial on X-Plane 11. Today we'll take a quick look at the Data Output tab in the Settings screen. This video was recorded in X-Plane 1135 R1. So here we are in the Data Output tab of the Settings screen. This screen has a lot of handy options that can help you troubleshoot problems, such as performance or joystick response. Data from these fields can also be incredibly helpful if you ever need to submit a bug report. There are over 100 options you can turn on here, so we won't go over each one individually. This very first line, frame rate, is one of the most useful options for most people. We recommend turning it on as part of finding the best rendering settings for your computer. Check a box in the very first column to turn on data output on screen during your flight. Checking the box in the next column, Data Graph Window, will output the frame rate info to an NSIM graph. This graph is displayed by going to the Developer menu, Show Data Output Graph. There are some options you can play with in this graph window as well, such as increasing the amount of time shown in order to get a more holistic view. Checking the box in the third column will output the data to the data.txt file located in your main X-Plane folder. The final column turns on data output over your network via UDP. This option may be useful to custom cockpit builders or for other more technical uses. To use this option, you'll need to first configure the network configuration section over here on the right. And finally, in the section just above that, you can control the output rates for the graph, UDP, and disk writing. On the Data Ref Read Slash Write tab, you can select any data ref for output from or reading into the SIM to or from either a networked computer by UDP or a COM port. Here again, you'll need to set up the networked computer info on the right side of the screen. So that's how to use the Data Output section of the Settings screen in X-Plane 11. If you want even more information on data input and output, check out the document Exchanging Data with Xplane in the Instructions folder of your Xplane install. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.